My name is Israel Charles. I'm the artistic director for the Dillard Center for the Arts. Well, we're doing The Wiz, that wonderful uh, Broadway classic uh, that is an urbanized version of the original Wonderful Wizard of Oz. Hi, I'm Caroline Campos and I am the stage manager of the show. I have to make sure the cues are on time, the band is on time, the actors are in their places, the costumes are done, the props are set, the sound is good. I have to just make sure everything is right. I like the whole show really because a lot of people did a lot of hard work for it and I think the whole show should be recognized for what it is. Um, it was a very hard show to put on and I don't think a lot of people can do it and I'm thankful that it happened. Hi, my name is Paris Webster and I was Dorothy. I've always been a dancer, but then I've always like had interest in singing and stuff. But since I was a dancer, I was like, ah, I'm not going to sing because I'm not a singer. I haven't been professionally trained to sing. But when I tried out for Bring It On, it kind of built my courage, and I was like, eh, let me try out for the Wiz, <laughs> see what I can do. Only that I want to heart, you witness. <laughs> when I first started playing it, it was taught that I should be very, you know, tight and stiff, because he's made of tin. But they said, as I progress, I start to loosen back up and just, you know, do my thing. Hi, I'm Davion Jones and I played the lion. I think the lion, like personally, I feel that he, he makes the show like really exciting because I guess he's like the comedic character in the show. And he is very extra, and I think I'm very extra. <laughs> so it works. How does a scarecrow walk? I, I mean, I'm stuffed with hay. How do you stand? Do I stand? Do I bang? I think with my choices, which was I chose to stay bent all the time, so it's like, if you think about it, if I'm stuffed with hay, I won't have enough structure to stand up, but I don't think I'd fall backwards. So I figured bending the knees is what would keep him round, keep me grounded. Yeah! Cause I'm with everyone today. Hello, my name is Imani Brown and my role is Eveline the Wicked Witch of the West. She does her own thing, she's very funky, she has a nice, strong, soulful voice and I love, that's my genre of singing, I love singing that way and those are mainly the roles that I get casted in. For me, I love this when the scarecrow came, that was like my favorite scene. One of my favorite parts is the part when we're easing on down the road and we're singing and then out of, out of nowhere, like I forgot whose idea it was, but I start easing on down and the music stops and I'm still going and they're like, no, stop. And I'm like, what? What's going on? Oh, we're lost. And that's, I think that's one of my favorite parts. What I want people to take away from the show is that don't take your parents or whoever you're living with or your guardians for granted. You'll get a lot of lessons from Out of the Wiz in a good way. Um, what I find most fulfilling is the audience, knowing that I put in a lot of hard work, a lot of suffering into the show, um, that it's all worth it in the end when they have a good time. I like watching them laugh and I like getting emotions out of them. You know, one of the things that we like uh the community to realize, as well as the parents and the students, is that when we do these productions, it's not just about coming out and seeing the production. Uh, we, we really think that we're doing theater at a high level, so we want people to not only come and enjoy that, but invest in our young people. We think that that's so important uh, because they're doing so many positive things now. And we really, uh, for as much as we want them to be entertained, we want them to also cherish the fact that they're investing in their futures. And these kids need it, they deserve it. They work tremendously hard here at a magnet school for the visual and performing arts. And so the thing that I try to do as artistic director is make sure that the seats are filled so that they can perform before uh, appreciative and enthusiastic audiences. And that's what they deserve. <laughs>